yeah, when it comes to like mass replacement of humans by AI, um, one uh, place people talk about this is in fast food um, service. Right. So like, oh, yeah. they're already, uh, you know, like McDonald's and things, they always have those like self-checkout things. And yeah. I think the general rule of thumb is like, if, if, uh, if it doesn't really matter who does the job, then you can give it to an AI because the human element clearly isn't like important. Mm. Um, and I'm not saying I, I love a human checkout, by the way. <laughs> um, but the the interesting thing is that um, they make more, way more money. Sorry, by the way, those self checkout machines. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, not nice. Um, is the adversarial interaction? So, like, uh, we are seeing today that um, I think it was Chipotle in, in the US or one of the fast food restaurants. They actually replaced um, the people in the drive through. Yeah. Um, so the person who oh, talks yes. on the microphone, the chatbot. With chatbot. <laughs> yeah. And what you see is p- people see that it's a chatbot and they will act adversarial they'll try and yeah. cause problems yeah and then that's immediately going to like, re- like reduce any possible gain that that could have had so yeah. we have this interesting problem with alignment where um we're gonna have to train mm. these models to be resistant to people trying to kind of break them but yeah. also be sensitive to people that actually want to use them mm. um and the model's gonna have to differentiate between people that have real problems or pretending to yeah, have problems. yeah that's a really good point 